the Bronco comes with this uh, mesh pocket on both the front and the rear door. I never felt that was uh, very useful. So I bought these door pockets on Amazon. This one's the front and that's the rear. This was $35 a pair. There are uh, other listings that's like $70 a pair. They are like local. You can get it in a day or two. This one came from China. I was not in a hurry, so I went with it. So the plan is to hook them up to these doors. Let's go. So the front door mesh has these screws. It seems like a T30 would fit. Hopefully, once I take out all these screws, the mesh will just come out easily. Okay, all the screws are out. Ah, that was easy. So this new door pocket comes with this peel and stick weather strip kind of thing. I already stuck it on one side. So I'll go ahead and put it on all the other sides. Okay, done installing the weather strip on all the three sides. Now time to put it back on the door. This is how it looks. I should be able to install it using the original screws. So the screws are loosely installed. This is a lot more usable area. So I'll go ahead and just tighten this and test it out. I do see some gap between the door and this new pocket. I probably should reuse this behind the new door pocket. I'll go ahead and do that now. Yeah, so there are more holes here than just the screw holes. This is where I probably saw the gap. There's one here, there's a big one here. This original factory bracket should cover those. Yeah, that looks much better. Now I'll go ahead and install the door pocket. Reinstalled the door pocket and I don't see any gaps anymore. So that looks pretty perfect. Let's test it out. Testing time. Okay, does withstand some abuse. Seems like two bottles should fit here easily. Won't fit on the other side. So let's try some more. Oh yeah, the big tissue box fits. Wife should be happy. It's the exact same procedure for the driver's door as well. Pass. And this is how the door pocket looks when the door's closed. It's not too intrusive. A good addition for more storage space. This is the rear door pocket. It comes with some self-tapping screws. Only problem is there are no screws here and I do not want this mesh. So I might have to take this door panel out. To remove the door panel, there are two bolts here. There's one bolt behind the door handle. And there are two bolts behind the grab handle. Now that all the bolts are loosened, I should just be able to grab and pull the door panel out. I managed to free the door panel from the door. I haven't removed the lock grab handle mechanism. Here is the back of the mesh. There seems to be several plastic welds. I'm just gonna drill them out from inside. I drilled through one of them. Want to be a little careful if you want to reuse this at a later time. But hopefully I got them all drilled right so they should just come off. What? There's the mesh of the door and here's the trim piece. I'm gonna install the door pocket on top of this trim piece. Here's the trim piece back on the door and this is how the door pocket sits on. And I was provided with these uh, self-tapping screws. So I'm gonna use these screws to fix the door pocket to the door. This door pocket does have two holes at the bottom. Not sure why. I guess I'm not gonna be storing any liquid in these pockets. I seem to have hit a small roadblock here. So the provided self-tapping screw seems to assume that you want to install this uh, door pocket on top of this mesh bracket, 
without taking it out. But now that I took out the mesh and this bracket by drilling from the inside, this is not good enough because this is not long and it doesn't go as far as the door panel itself. So I have to come up with something new. So I have these uh, one inch screws, they are quarter by 20 and along with some uh, lock nuts. I used this a long time ago to build a roof rack for my forerunners. I have quite a few of them lying around. So I just tried one of them. It doesn't look bad, it fits perfectly. And here's the lock washer. So I'm gonna use this to secure this uh, door pocket to the uh, door panel. Okay, so just installed all the six uh, boards. And this is how it looks on the back. For some, I did use a washer. For some, I did not. And this particular bolt is very close to this uh, plastic piece. I cannot get a lock nut in there, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. So time to install this door panel back on the door. So I was able to put the door panel back on without any issues. So the lock nuts on the back and this one inch screws don't seem to touch anything. So I'll just put the door panel and all the trim pieces back. And the door panel is completely reinstalled. Pass. It's the same procedure for the driver's side as well. Au revoir.